Today we're just going to talk to you about lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow as it's more commonly known. Tennis elbow can affect people in around the ages of 35 to 55. It normally affects your dominant arm. Um, it can affect men and women equally. Um, it is considered an overload injury. Uh, really what it is, it's microtraumas to the attachment point of your wrist extensors. Um, People with jobs such as painters, electricians, plumbers can be affected by it where there's a lot of gripping, a lot of twisting of the wrist, the forearm. Um, and as I said, it, it can cause inflammation, microtraumas to that area. And really it's about trying to manage it. Uh, tennis elbow can take anything from six months to two years to resolve. You can get some steroid injection for it. Uh, kind of research shows it only gives a bit of short term relief for maybe a, a month or so. Um, Progressive exercises are a better way to tackle it for on a more, more long-term basis. So today we're just going to show you a few exercises that you can use to progress them through. Ultimately with this injury what you're trying to do is load the tendon, uh, encourage a bit of blood flow to it by using it, progressing those exercises, progressing the load and obviously reducing the pain, building up the strength of it and ultimately get you back to being pain-free um, whenever you, you, you're doing those particular exercises or those particular movements. So first and foremost, one of the best ways to do it really is to just simply have the wrist, you can rest the wrist on a table, but really, or the forearm on a table, really what you're trying to do is just resist the wrist from extending. So as you're getting these muscles here, to pretty much contract without lengthening or shortening. So you're not upsetting the area, you're just gonna hold that for about five seconds as you lift, resist that, and again, you can repeat this five to ten times, a couple of times a day, depending on exactly how painful you, you, you are or how much pain you're in. But as you can see, you're looking to get those muscles to contract without lengthening or shortening at this early stage. As that's continuing, you can also stretch it out. So after you've done a few of those particular exercises, you can stretch out the wrist, looking to stretch out the muscles down the forearm, and also flip it over. And stretching from this side. As you see, as you feel the pain is easing off and you want to progress that exercise, a nice one to use is to get just a broom handle or a cane at home. And really what we're trying to do here is something similar to what we were doing a second ago, except we can use a little bit more force on this one. With this, we're looking to just turn out the wrists in both directions. You can use two hands, but obviously you may be just symptomatic in one. And really what you're trying to do is bend the bar and you're just holding it there, keeping your elbows pretty much in close to the body as you twist that wrist out. And again, you'll see muscles are contracting in around the area. Again, without being overstretched. And you can control the resistance yourself. So if you feel you're getting stronger, you can apply a little bit more pressure. And again, holding it for about five seconds, repeating five to 10 reps as you're doing it. Another, the other way to do this is to also turn the wrist inwards. So again, like you're Again, try and keep the elbows close to the body so it's not a shoulder movement. It's moving through the, through the forearm again, so you're twisting the bar in. Again, hold five, five seconds. Again, repeat five to ten of them. Okay. Also, what you can do is you can use the bar like as if you're, you're rinsing out a towel, or you can use a towel to rinse out a towel. And really what you're trying to do here is you're just trying to twist through the bar like you're rinsing a towel. And then the same again, so you're getting that grip strength and it's resisting the bar again. You can resist, you can grip the bars as tight as you like, turn it back, and we're getting a little bit of rotation through the forearm and again with a bit of grip. So we're slowly starting to introduce a little bit of that movement with a bit of resistance. So we're progressing from that exercise to this one. Then another version of this you can do as is again later in the rehab pain is starting to really ease off you can use a broom so say this is the head of the broom this end or some people like to use a hammer you're holding the handle and the head of the hammer is up high and all we're doing here again is arm close to the body and we're just going to twist the wrist trying to keep the elbow stationary so you can put your hand on the elbow just to keep that from moving and we're just looking to twist from left to right like a pendulum so again, as you can see from the side, now we're starting to add a little bit more movement through the forearm, add a little bit more tension, starting to stretch the muscle and the tendon a little bit more, 
while we have a little bit of weight. As we're getting stronger again, lift the head of the broom or the hammer further away so you're getting more load as we're again getting that pendulum of the swing left and right. As you find also it's getting stronger and stronger, all we can do is move the arm further away, but again we're keeping the shoulder stable. So as we're getting all the movement again through the elbow, and as we move it further away from the body, again we're adding more load, more lever. Lift the head of the broom handle higher again. As I said, this could take up to anything up to four, six, eight weeks to really all we're trying to do is speed up the recovery process. Try and build up the strength through here and reduce the pain. So there's two, a few exercises that you can try. If you're looking for any more information or if you'd like to contact us, our website serviceyourbody.ie. Uh, love to hear from you if you have any questions. Thanks very much. Good luck with that.